So I'm sure you've heard about the changes to Apple's iOS in the last few weeks. I guess the question for us is, what does that mean for advertisers? The most notable change to Apple's iOS 14 update is its privacy and data sharing policies, which is also known as App Tracking Transparency, ATT. With this update, Apple is giving users a more transparent choice to protect their privacy and information. On the app side, to comply with ATT, moving forward, developers will be required to ask permission to use certain information from other apps and websites for advertising purposes. Although detailed information about the update has been released by Apple, it is very important to note that the extent of its impact on advertisers is yet to be seen. iOS 14.5 brings a significant change to advertising in two perspectives. Number one, in tracking users, and the second one is about targeting those very same users. Before iOS 14.5, any app could track your information and your usage data within the app, but also they could use similar data gathered from all around the web and combine this to create profiles and rich data and also to track you effectively. With this change, they still have this ability, but they do have to ask for your consent in order to do so. And the way that they have to do this is quite visible, quite transparent, and upfront. Well, the advertiser is now no longer in control. Users not opting in are not identifiable and trackable and considered as being a new anonymous user. So how do advertisers adapt to this new reality? The first step to adapt to this new reality is to go back to basics, using first-party data and content to help offset potential misreach from user-level targeting. Brands and publishers that have strong first-party customer relationships will be in the driver's seat and can amplify their data by reaching those audiences in brand-suitable content environments. Well, without user-level behavioural data at our disposal, contextual techniques can still provide the powerful way to identify and target consumers based on a variety of other privacy-compliant signals. These are things such as time of day, device model, publisher app, and general location. Unfortunately, there is no one-size-fits-all solution but a combination of several initiatives to face this challenge. Those initiatives could be leveraging the context using predictive audience, leveraging unique or universal ideas, or to use browser API. All-in-one, advertisers that will embrace new privacy-first strategies will be better prepared and will see greater success for the future. So do you think this is just the beginning? Will we see more? This is definitely not the end game, but a huge milestone on this journey. It really looks and seems to me that the end game here is that users are really finally having a better grasp of what their data is, how to control that, and there will be a push for the value exchange for their data. We should indeed expect more restriction coming from OS and browsers on one hand, but also from the regulators on the other hand. So this is a perfect time for our industry to evolve and innovate. It means from a publisher perspective to be able to keep on producing quality content funded by advertising. It means for brands to engage with their prospects and clients with a more responsible and non-intrusive way without compromising their media effectiveness. And it means for the end users to have access to quality content and greater control and transparency regarding their personal data utilization. These changes are a perfect opportunity for us to build a new online advertising ecosystem. One that delivers better accuracy and efficiency for brands greater privacy for consumers, and sustainable revenues for publishers. I guess the question here really is, where is your business in that conversation?